and welcome along and welcome back to Meadow Farm. Uh, we are currently up at our main farm here. This is the silo that we were filling last time. And if I bring up uh, the menu here, the help menu, you can see that it's uh, it's all blanketed. It's all been um, all been compacted and is now fermenting. It's one percent of the way through. But if we come around here and look at our other silo that we worked on a while ago, this is at a hundred percent. So this is ready to go. Now what we need to do, and this is this is where it gets a little bit complicated. So in order to actually sell some of this silage, we want to feed some of it to our cows. So we're going to need a mixing wagon, but we need money. So what we're going to do is we've got a field of 49, 50, 51 here. Those are worth 38,000. Uh, so we can we can sell those because we no longer have a use for those. Uh, those are all complete. Uh, we are then gonna tr we then need to raise about another thirty thousand in order to buy the biogas plant to sell some of our silage. So we have twenty five thousand, uh, nearly twenty six thousand um, liters of soybeans, uh, which are currently priced at one thousand two hundred and seventy per thousand liters so that should give us the money we need to buy the biogas plant and then we can get selling some of this in order to get some uh get some money in uh and then this eventually is what we're going to use to feed our cows so we're currently going to use this to make money uh we're looking long term to buy these fields here so 14 and 15 are 118,000. so the long-term goal of this is to get enough in order to do those. So what we're going to do is, uh, is before we do any of this, we need to take our Axion here down to our other yard because our fields also need planting. Now, we're going to do course play on that. We're going to get course play to do that. Uh, so that will then take that out of our hands and get that going. Uh, I don't want to be doing planting this time. So it's really all go today here on Meadowgrove. Uh, yeah, busy, busy day. Down our other yard, and just in here, here is our cedar. Now, I don't know if this has any seeds in it. We only have about £5,000 at the moment, which, to be perfectly honest, we could really do with. So, with any luck, this has seeds in it. It does. It's half full of seeds. So, we're going to plant canola in here. Uh, and we're going to get it started with field three, because field three is the larger field. Uh, it's just easier to go this way because all of the gates are open. I want to shut this gate behind us. Should be clear enough. There we go. I'm going to set up cosplay to work on here. If we don't already have a cosplay, do we have something saved? No, we only have uh, field two seeding. So we want to set up a cosplay for this field, which is field three there we go starting location will be current vehicle position two headlands uh, doing the main body of the field first uh, and we're going to set it so that it finishes actually we want to set it so that it finishes over by the gates to field two so where we were and I want it to go around so it's going uh, clockwise around the field so we want it to stop over this way here. About here-ish would be perfect. So, do that. As we can see from the outside, we have a course, which stops pretty much perfectly where I want it to. And if we have a look at it on the field, yep, starts over the other side. Absolutely fantastic. Let's head over here then. Two headlands should be enough for this to turn. Uh, we're going to knock the turning circle right down there. So we should have a turning circle. Here we go. Turning circle. 
Uh, we want, yeah, we're going to knock that down to four meters. Hopefully that will be enough for this to turn. We'll unfold it and we'll start it from its nearest waypoint and drive course and see if that yeah there we go so that is off uh, our class uh, Axion is uh, is off and doing its job uh, we're going to leave this doing I'm just going to check it turns properly on its first corner uh, but we're going to head over and sort out our magnum uh, sorry our uh, case next So here we are in our case, Maxim. It has full of, well, it's got the, uh, well, just dropped off the sprayer because we don't need that. We're going to take this back up to our main yard because currently we have care wheels on it. And we need to get it switched over to some more standard ones. So let's get that up there and switch those out. Into our workshop it goes then. Just park it up here. Turn it off. There we go. And switch these out. So customize it. And we want... Oh, we don't want that. That's a nice setup though. Wow. I really like that. But we want... Those seem to be the stat. There's the standard ones. The wide tires won't cost us anything. So I'm going to put the wide tires on here. And customize that. There we go. That's looking much better. Connect our weight back on and, uh, and we'll get it back down to our other yard so that we can start getting some of our soybeans sold. And back again. So we, we're going a little bit like a yo-yo today. We're, we're sort of back and forth between our two yards. Uh, this is this That was the last time that we're going to have to do that. Because we've now got this nicely set up. So our loading point is down the side there. We want to bring this round. Now, this ho this trailer holds 20,000 litres, so it is going to take two goes to do this. But it will be worth it. If we get 30,000 off the first one, we don't need to get the rest of the soybeans out of here. In fact, with the 5,000 we've got, hopefully this shouldn't be a requirement. So, 25,000, start doing that. And we are taking these two... Meadowgrove Stores, which on the map is uh, down there. So there we are. Meadowgrove Stores is that one there. Uh, so from where we are, best way is straight out of the farm that way and round like that. So we're full trailer full now. Let's get this out of here. Can we get round here? Yes, we can. Just. Well, actually, we're not coming out of our main farm. The best way out of here is actually to our left. So we'll get this down to the stores, get this sold, and see where we are with our money. Meadowgrove Stores is just up here on our left. Uh, I think this is actually the only place we've sold to so far. Even though there are a couple of places we can sell. But that should be our sell point in there. So let's see how much this gets. Uh, if we have, if we have more than thirty thousand here, then we're going to have enough money to to do this without having to sell anything more, which would be quite good. I'd quite like to be in that position right now. So there we go. Out it tips, and yeah, where we go, we are over thirty thousand. So, with that, what we're going to do now is we're going to sell the uh, group of fields here. So, we're going to sell these for 38000 and sell that. That gives us not enough, does it? 71000 we've got sixty-eight. So, we are going to have to sell the last five, uh, the last 5,000 litres of soybeans so we'll go back now and get those come back down here and get those sold as well i've gone back to our yard reloaded the last 5635 liters uh, and we're back down here at the sell point so hopefully now we should have enough money to buy the bga 
So let's tip this. There it goes. Uh, so 68,000. We need 71, I think it is. Well, we're, we're easily beyond it. So if we have a look here now, we should absolutely be able to buy the BGA. So uh, there we go. That is 75. We got 71,904. I'm just going to change this back to wherever it is. There we go. Pounds and miles. Uh, so we have a 75,933 pounds. Uh, our BGA to buy. Oh, it actually comes with a grass field. Fantastic. Uh, that is 71,900. So it's going to leave us with about 3,000-ish, uh, I think. Uh, maybe 4,000-ish. So we'll buy that. Yes. And we now own the BGA. And we have a grass field with it, which is absolutely fantastic. So we're down to 4,000. So we're basically where we were when we started out. However, we now have the means to sell our silage. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this trailer back up to our main farm. We're going to load this up and get this loaded into the BGA. And this is why I haven't moved on to the next day. Because we have... Uh, the opportunity to get our first load of money in from the silage overnight before our next episode which will be absolutely brilliant if we can make we want to make as much money as possible off this uh, and if we can make the cash uh, hopefully we're going to be able to buy those fields that we want to buy and uh, and should just this is when the money should start rolling in more than anything so this is, this is the turning point in this series, I think. And this is when we should start really sort of seeing things uh, change and see money come in. Uh, we can also sell manure and uh, slurry at the BGA as well. So, uh, yeah, that's, those, are, those are two other bits that we can sell down there. So it's all, you know, we have all of this stuff. Uh, we, we should be doing a lot better back into the yard and we're just going to pull this round here now i need to get the other tractor out of the shed before i do this because otherwise we're going to pull in front of this shed and be unable to get it out so here we go now how much does our bucket hold let's find out so uh 1700 so it's going to take about 10 loads from here to do this now, looking at this as well, we have... How much silage do we have? It doesn't actually tell me. That's kind of annoying. Yeah, no no idea how much silage we have in here at all, um, which is just a little bit annoying. Uh, so we'll have to see how we go. It might be a couple of trailers worth, maybe. We brought quite a bit in from the field to do this in the first place. We'll pull this up alongside here. There we go. And then we'll uncover the silo. So let's open that. Oh, there we go. Uh, hundreds. Wow. We have 168,000 litres of silage in here. That is more than a couple of trailers full. This is going to be this is going to be a proper cash uh, load that we have off this. It's just going to absolutely be brilliant. To the point where I'm considering getting a conveyor belt into this. Because trying to do this with this is going to take a little while. So what I'll do is we'll get this loaded up. And we'll go from there. And get this down and get it into our BGA. Our trailer is about 80% full at this point. I think that uh, only uh, maybe two more after this bucket. Uh, we'll probably do it, we'll probably top it off. So then we're going to take it down to the BGA, see if we can tip it. If we can't, we may need to get another piece of kit, uh, which I don't mind renting. Uh, what, it would, what it would be is we would need to conveyor belt to tip into. Uh, I'm hoping that it's not going to be necessary, but it might be. Uh, if it is, then we will pop down to the shop and grab one. Otherwise, we should be all right. I think one more bucket should do it. And that will be a nice big amount of uh, 
of silage for us to sell. And we've got plenty here. We've got so much. Feeding the cows is uh, it's not going to be difficult. And we should have enough to, to buy a mixing wagon. One thing we don't have at the moment is a mixing wagon to do mixed rations with, which we're now able to do uh, because we have all the ingredients. There we go. So that is a nice full trailer. So we'll just park this back in here. Look at, we still have so much silage. Turn that off. And I'm hoping I can get round here. If not, I have a better idea. And no, actually I have a better idea. We'll head through here and round. And that will get us in. So yeah, we've got hay, we've got straw, and now we've got silage. We can do mixed ration. We just need a feed mixer to do it with. Uh, so we'll look into getting one of those in the very near future. Yeah, we can get out this way. Uh, which we should be able to do now. So we've got 20,000 in here. My understanding is silage on this map sells for about 2,000 uh, pounds per thousand litres. Roughly. Uh, but we'll see if that pans out overnight on this. Two trailers. And two trailers is scratching the surface of how much we have. Uh, we are, we would have 80,000. Three trailers of this. And we can buy the two fields that we want. So that is my aim for this video today. Is to get three trailers down here and tipped. And hopefully that is going to be... An, get, going to get us into a position where yeah we'll have a new grass field and it's oh brilliant we do not need a uh we do not need any kind of conveyor because it is on the ground it is one absolutely designed to be tipped into that's fantastic so in goes our silage twenty thousand liters of it uh, now, we won't immediately get the money for this because in Farming Simulator 19, the money goes in overnight. But that is absolutely perfect. We are going to be in the money. Overnight. That's So we're going to get two more trailers for this. That should mean that next time we can buy our new field. Uh, three trailers would be absolutely sure of it. But certainly at the moment we are just in a position where we should be rolling in money in no time. Okay, so I checked and I've got some bad news. <laughs> uh, it is basically, it's not 2,000 per thousand liters it's only 900 so it's under half what i was expecting and what we previously thought it was going to be so actually to get off new field we are going to have to sell pretty much most if not all of this so that is going to be over six trailers full which i don't think we're going to get done today unfortunately however we do have other sources of income as well uh, I don't know what our milk situation is like at the moment. So let's have a quick gander at that. Uh, we've got 6,000 litres of milk. But we have, as I said earlier, manure and slurry are also sellable. We've got 37,000 litres of slurry. Uh, and while this is emptying, let's have a look at the price of slurry. So the price of slurry is there. There we go. So uh, the bioglass plant as well. Manure and slurry are both very sellable. Again, it's not a huge amount. It's uh, it's less than I was expecting. But, you know, we can sell that. We can get that to be sold. So there's plenty of options here. We are by no means out of options with this. Uh, but it is going to take us a little bit longer to do that. Uh, and I'm, uh, yeah, as before, I'm very tempted by a conveyor belt. The one thing I do know is that we are not going to get this done uh, in this video. We're not going to be able to get to the point where we can buy our field in this video. Doesn't mean we don't still have options going forwards. So what we're going to do is uh, we're probably going to sell off a little bit of this at a time over the next few videos. 
Uh, and in the meantime, we're going to do things like get our cows going, try and get the milk production up. Uh, we will probably try and sell some slurry as well, uh, because we've got that that will uh, should sell quite nicely. Uh, and uh, and yeah, just generally uh, plugging on with it. We have the cash. We just need to realise it and uh, and turn it into something that we can make money off. Now we've almost got another full trailer, but something I've just noticed is that our tractor is actually in massive need of repair. It's not causing a, a huge issue at the moment uh, because obviously we're not using it to to pull anything or anything like that. But yeah, this fence. We really, really need to get into the workshop and get it repaired uh, because it's not good for us to be having a, uh, a tractor at 100% wear and tear. So it needs a good service, this tractor. It's one of those things that I would really like to see in transit where not necessarily that it breaks, but you, you just can't use certain aspects of a tool when it, uh, when it hits 100%. So, for example... Uh, well, I suppose it is breaking. It's the whole thing of you can't, uh, you know, you can't use, you can't lift the rear linkage, or, or you can't power the the front loader that you've got at the moment. You know, 100% on this, I shouldn't be able to use this piece of equipment. Uh, it should absolutely require it, uh, require me to to get it into the workshop to uh, to do repairs. Um, I know that things get slowed down, but as is evident by this at the moment and the fact that I didn't realise it, uh, you can easily continue to use, uh, in the right situation, uh, one of these pieces of equipment indefinitely. Uh, and it has no penalty at all. Our trailer is at 96% now, and uh, so this wo it won't take the whole of this bucket. Uh, but it does mean that we can go and tip our second trailer load. Uh, it's quarter past seven in the evening in game. So uh, yeah, that is uh, that is about as late as uh, as realistically on this kind of job uh, we would be working. There we go. Oh, thankfully we didn't get too close to that. So we're gonna go and tip this. Yeah, so out through our farm again. And I'm quite pleased with how successful this has been. The fact that we've managed to buy the BGA, that it comes with a grass field, which I completely missed uh, when I was planning this. So we still do have a grass field that we can generate more silage from. We need 118 thousand to buy our field uh, we do have despite the fact that this is worth less money than i'd originally expected uh the silage it will buy us the new field and as i said we have we have an abundance of it we have enough to feed our cows and to sell here so uh and we can generate more pretty easily so we're in a great great position with this I'm, uh, I'm really happy with this. Let's get this in here. Uh, so we'll get this tipped. So we will be selling some more of this in the future to, to raise some more money for our field. Uh, but we've got a fair amount to go on the rest of our work. It looks like our cedar hasn't finished yet. So we'll, we'll have that finish before the next time. And this is ready to tip. So there we go. That's tipping. And uh, that's fantastic news. That is absolutely awesome. We are going to make some serious cash in the coming episodes. But that is where we're going to leave in this video. All that remains is for me to say a thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.